Yo man, what's good? Your tats are fire, but you could really use some more followers. I'm an up and coming influencer and model and I would be willing to collab and shout you out on my Insta and get you tons of exposure in trade for some ink. I want two arm sleeves, but we can discuss that later. Let me know. Wow, the audacity. <laughs> I want both of my entire arms done, but I'm sure we can discuss that later. Because I'm so popular. Lol, okay. Exposure doesn't pay the bills, my guy. I tattoo plenty of people with more reach and influence than you. And they don't ask for free stuff. Also, you've got less than one-fifth of the followers that I do. How about you do some free stuff for me <laughs> in exchange for exposure? Let me know. Well, one-fifth the followers that they do. And they have the audacity to say that. Your tats are fire, but you could really use some more followers. Yeah, and apparently you could as well, man. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning back in. And welcome back to the most annoying subreddit in the universe, <laughs> Choosing Beggars. This actually might be the most annoying subreddit in the world. Like, it has to be. I'm sure you guys have noticed, but every time I do a video on this subreddit, I get so mad. <laughs> and I don't even mean to. But yeah, it's gonna be a whole bunch of frustrating fun, and I hope you enjoy. Why does collabing with an animator include paying them? when some don't really want to pay. Bro, that's not what a collaboration is. And also, what do you mean when some don't really want to pay? Do you mean you? I don't want to pay for this. I'm trying to make an anime YouTube series and I find it hard to find an animator. What, because you have to pay for them? Because they usually ask for money, which personally I don't want to do as I don't give and or don't know how to give money digitally as I only spend money in a real life situation. Not bragging by saying that. That doesn't sound like you're bragging. <laughs> oh, this is so funny already. And therefore I have to try and teach myself how to level up my drawing skills and trying to animate, which is really tough and hard for me. Probably because I hold my pencil differently to a normal person. Oh, this is a joke, right? And when I ask people if they could help me on this project, they usually ask for money, which I say sorry, but I don't really do that. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? Well, then you're not going to get anybody to animate for you, are you? And then they say that as rude or scamming, and that's not what I meant. What did you mean? You're just trying to get work out of people for free. That's basically all there is to it. And like what? All because you don't know how to send people money online? You could do a bank transfer. You could use PayPal. Like, learn how to do it. It's really not an excuse. <laughs> like, I do understand what they're saying. Like, they don't want to pay over the internet. But that sounds so funny. You know, they ask you to be an animator for them and then you tell them how much it's gonna cost and they're just like oh nah, I don't usually do that. As in pay people. Well, what a great start to the video. How many likes for free shoes? One million in ten minutes. Oh, frick you. You do realize the stuff on my store are $400 and up and I don't need exposure. Frick off and stop begging. Yeah, nah, one 100%. People literally think everything is like a TikTok trend. How many likes for free shoes? It doesn't work like that. I'm so glad I'm not one of these business owners. I would get so tired of choosing beggars. And you'd probably get them like every single day. Hi, yeah, it's available. Would you be able to meet at so-and-so or so-and-so sometime this week? Please share your contact and exact location. Yeah, no, I don't think that's necessary. Like I said, I'm happy to meet at either this place or this place. And we can keep communicating through Messenger. You replied after 1.5 hours. Same thing, you'll do a while. I'm waiting. You're not a beautiful girl whom I want to hook up with later. Sorry, I'm not awake at 6am and knowing my address wouldn't change that. Freak off, you idiot. Lol. Oh, that wasn't a choosing beggar. That was just icky. Ugh. I need your exact location. 
again. No, <laughs> that's terrifying. They say that there's a market for anything. So I thought I'd try to clean up my property. All sizes of rocks, stones, bricks, etc. That have accumulated whilst tidying up my property. Come grab as much or as little as you desire. I will even load the rocks on your trailer for you. Located here. If you pay me, can you deliver any rocks under 300 grams to my house, please? Thank you. Looking forward to hearing from you. Yeah, how about I deliver them through your windows? <laughs> oh god, that's so funny. I love when they stand up to them. No, I'd prefer outside, thank you. Oh wow, I'd prefer outside, thank you. Do you think they actually didn't get it? Or are they being a smart ass? I can't even tell. If you comment on a post like that, if you pay me, can you deliver any rocks under 300 grams to my house? If you're somebody who's going to comment something like that, that, you're probably somebody who would comment the other one too. Yeah, how about I deliver them through your windows? That's so funny. Room for rent, $200 utilities included, 11.5 wide, 19 feet long, 218 square feet. I saw a female roommate for my mum. She lives in a 1500 square foot home in so-and-so that we recently renovated. The bedroom has its own private entrance and has a ton of space. It's connected to the laundry room. A huge garage ready for storage. Here are the requirements. Must be willing to help her keep the house clean. Yard work, random things around the house. Pick up her groceries. Occasionally drive her to appointments. Oh God, she doesn't drive anymore. Applicants will need to fill out an application, provide two living references. Oh, get real. <laughs> and one work reference and be willing to have a criminal background check. Are you joking? No one's gonna apply for this. God. Ideal applicant would be a CNA or traveling nurse. Not required though. Buddy, this isn't a job application. Does anybody need to live there that bad? A room for rent. With all the requirements, I believe you should be giving the room and $200 for a female roommate or caregiver. Wait, so a live-in caregiver that has to pay you? Yeah, that's exactly right. This is the funniest trading page I've ever been on. Everything on here is a joke. Like, is this a meme page? And then somebody says, interested. <laughs> oh, surely not. How about that person has a job? She can't do these stuff. Work? That's not a roommate. You're looking for CNA. What's CNA? Like a nurse assistant. How can the person pay you rent when they're a full-time caregiver? Yeah, that's exactly right. That's what I was thinking, lol. Where's the $200 they have to give you coming from if they're taking care of their mum and driving her to appointments every day and then the OP. It's not a caregiver position. Going to the store for yourself, then pick up her groceries too. Use the same toilet and kitchen, then clean it. Have some free time and can help her get to her appointments in her own vehicle. Then be a nice person. If you're not interested, then don't comment. Don't be rude because it wouldn't work for your lifestyle. Plenty of other people People are interested. Are they? Really? Like, I don't know if I believe that. I do get what they're trying to say, but they're asking way too much. Maybe if you're in a relationship with somebody, you'll do this sort of stuff. Obviously, but not some random person's mum. Especially when you're paying to live there. They're literally trying to get some rent income and also not have to look after their mum anymore. That's not how that works. A Lenovo laptop, 600. No. Nah, 350. Uh, 600 and you can have it. It's good price. 400. Please. Nah, not for me it's not. Give me free. Please, please give me. Yeah, sure. Just tell me where you live. I'll be there in 20 minutes. And then they send their address. Should I also pay you for taking it from me? Yeah, what? And they actually think that they're gonna do that. I think that's the most annoying thing about this. They don't realize what they're doing wrong. That's so frustrating. Can't you see how ridiculous you're being? People are so entitled. Hi all, my name is Erica. I'm starting over with nothing but some clothes. I'll be staying with friends until I can rebuild up the necessary supplies needed to run my own household again. I have a two bedroom apartment on hold in the downtown area for the second week of December. However, before then, if I cannot gain access to my storage unit that my now ex had claimed to have been paid, 
I need everything for all rooms except for a bed for the smaller bedroom. So they want people to just give them everything. What is needed? A queen or a king mattress with a box spring and or frame. Pots and pans and cooking utensils. Plates, bowls and cups. A microwave. Toaster or toaster oven. Oh wow. A coffee pot or a French press. A blender. Silverware. Twin blankets plus bedding for whatever size of the other bed I get, and pillowcases and pillows, a couch, a love seat, a sectional or futon, preference given to futon, floor lamps, I need two, a coffee table, a high back tall bar stool, a bistro style table with two chairs or stools as well, TVs and two of them of any size, if not flat screen would prefer if someone else carried it into the house if they're not small, as I have an umbilical hernia and cannot lift well. A gaming system of any type. Even the new old school digital gaming systems that you can now get. So what, you have time for that? But you don't have time to, what, get a job or something? Like, bro, this is ridiculous. A laptop. I worked as a cam model until my laptop was stolen by a so-called friend. Two halogen lamps for doing cam work. Multiple, as long as possible, multicolored LED light stands with remote to control different speed modes. Also for cam show, 24 inches of chain, all one length or cut into four six foot lengths. Two full sheets of construction grade plywood. Oh wow, this is so entertaining. Three to five sheets of eight by four particle board cut into four by four sheets each. <laughs> oh God, this has to be a joke. Miscellaneous household hand tools. Two or three larger dresses. Two large plastic sheets shelving systems, a small wheeled computer desk, adult coloring books and markers. You're asking for coloring books? Oh, this has got to be a joke. A large wooden bookshelf, a large black or chocolate brown cube shelf. Is this like a Christmas wish list? What is going on? You don't need three quarters of this stuff. Wicker drawers, for God's sake. You literally want somebody to furnish your entire apartment. A Papperson chair. They're like the round ones, aren't they? You know, like those really nice chairs. All must have delivery available for a small but reasonable fee. All items must be free and near free or really cheap. I take care of a challenged family member at the moment, paranoid schizophrenic, and I need to get and keep him stable ASAP. Thank you. Oh, wow, that was a roller coaster ride. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I need wholesome memes right now. Also, sorry guys, I'm like sort of losing my voice. Exercising so others will like how you look. No, 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 no. Exercising so you like how you look. Yeah, 100%. That's all that matters. And it's so awesome when you do it for yourself. I'm only trying to make me proud. How did I get to deserve you? Oh, I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> and then they're both really happy. That is beautiful. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching today today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know what you thought down below. And today's comment of the day once again goes to Super Panda BS with another fun animal fact. The heart of a shrimp is located in its head. I didn't know that. And now, thanks to you, Super Panda BS, I do know that. I love the fact that there are so many fun facts in the comment section. Our comment section is so fun to read. So yeah, thank you guys for the awesome comments. I really appreciate it. And on that note, have a beautiful rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time.